Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 30th of 2024 is titled A Lunar Corona Over Paris. So what do we see here? Well, here we do see in the foreground, of course, the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France. And you can see the beacons across the top of it pointing out into the sky opposite to each other. And one of them is pointing in the general direction of our moon. Now you can see the moon there, the brightest object in the sky next to the sun. And that, of course, the brightest object if you're looking in the night sky when the sun is below the horizon. And around the moon, we see what is called a corona. So the corona around that is caused by diffraction of light and is actually a quantum mechanical effect. And that occurs when you get lots of water droplets in the air, but they're all the similar size. So everything very close to the same size. And then you have most of this a very thin cloud. So if you had really thick clouds, that would simply block out the light from the moon. But when you have a thinner cloud, the moonlight can get through and you can see this quantum mechanical effect giving the corona around this. So we can see that there is around in this corona, we can see different colors. Now that's because when we look at different colors of light, they have different wavelengths. The blue light and violet light have the very shortest wavelengths and the red and orange have the very longest wavelengths. So they are going to be diffracted by differing amounts. And we see something of this when a rainbow forms that is caused by white light from the sun and its light being refracted and reflected through raindrops. And that will split the light into its component colors and we see something very similar here. Now this is actually one of the very few quantum mechanical effects, especially involving color that can be seen with the naked eye. So you can just see you don't need any special equipment. A lot of quantum mechanical effects involve specific equipment needed to be able to see things because they happen on very small scales. Quantum mechanics deals with subatomic particles and very tiny things. So many of the effects are not readily visible to us. However, this is one of those that actually can be seen directly. Now a corona like this is not confined to an object just like the moon, although the moon is often seen with these uh, and when the conditions are right, but you can also see a corona around the sun. You need the relatively bright object giving you enough light that the corona will be easily visible and that we're able to see that pattern around the moon itself. So that was our picture of the day for May 30th of 2024. It was titled A Lunar Corona Over Paris. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Nebulous Realm. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.